Hare Krishna. Krishna has faith in our potential. Let us have faith in his potency. Suppose, say there is a coaching academy, say for some sports. There is some very famous coach and that coach is training some aspiring sports player, say aspiring cricketer. Now, at that time, that young teenager who is playing cricket may have dreams, oh, I want to become a famous cricketer. But they may not have confidence. Oh, will I succeed? And at such phases of doubt, it is the faith of the coach in the potential of the aspiring cricketer that is decisive. Now, for all of us, when our morale is down, if others have faith in us, then that inspires us to persevere. And for all, if we look at the careers of all the top sports players in whichever field, now they had some coach, some mentor who had faith in their potential. And that's what helped them to emerge. So similarly for us, during our spiritual journey, we too may have moments of doubt. Now, can I really overcome my conditionings? Can I ever become pure? So at that time, we need to look beyond our conditionings towards our ultimate coach, towards Krishna. He always has faith in our potential. If he didn't have faith in our potential, why would he be present in our hearts? Why would he be guiding us? In the Bhagavad Gita in 18.61, it is stated, Ishvara Sarvabhutanam Ruddeshe Arjuna Tishthati Brahmayan Sarvabhutani Yantra Rudhani Mayaya And he is present in the hearts of all living beings. He is guiding their wanderings. So even if we have many misdirecting forces within us, which make us doubt our capacity to do the right things, but Krishna has faith in our potential. So we need to have faith in his potency. Just as the aspiring cricketer has to have faith in the coach's potency. I am not able to do this right right now. But if I just follow the direction of my coach, if I just take the training, I will be able to do it. Similarly, if we turn towards Krishna, if we have faith in his potency to purify us, that he is omnipotent, whatever be our conditioning, if God is supreme, that means he is superior to our conditioning. So therefore, we just surrender to him. In fact, that's what the next verse recommends. Tameva sharanam gacha sarvabhavena bharata tat prasadat param shantim Sthanam prapsasi shashvatam Surrender to him and by that surrender we will get, gain peace, we will gain perfection, we will gain eternal life. And Krishna says that if at all there is something which is obstructing you, there is some wrongdoing which you have done in the past, some wrongdoings which you may do in the present, that is what is causing you doubts. Krishna says, I will free you from those wrongdoings. That same call for surrender which he describes in 18.62, he reiterates four verses later in 18.66 and he says, Sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam vraja aham tvam sarva papebhyo moksha ishami ma shuchaha says, just surrender, I will free you from all sinful reactions, do not fear. So Krishna is urging us to have faith in his potency. If he did not have faith in our potential, he would not speak the Bhagavad Gita. He would not so fervently urge us to surrender to him. So because he has faith in our potential, so let us have faith in his potency. And then we will find the miraculous transformation that the bhakti of Krishna can bring into our hearts and into our lives and through us into the lives of many others. Thank you. Hare Krishna.